Hi, I'm Pete Nigerian, class of 1986 and co-founder of Trade Monster. On the field and in the markets, there is no room for error. You need to be prepared, have a plan, focus when executing, and stay disciplined at all times. That's why we have built the Trade Monster platform to help investors become successful in the markets. Success doesn't come overnight. You build it brick by brick. thing we need to worry about, number one, you need to believe because there's no question in my mind, we can go up there and take the game, any question. But you know the real truth is that I'm really not worried about Michigan State at all. All you have to do is what you've done over a period of time over the last five weeks. We're playing with house money, baby. We just go in there, have a good time, play our ass off, and have a hell of a lot of fun. Pretty simple. Get a breakdown, get out. Tell me on three. One, two, three. Did you tell mom huh? Yeah, I did, I did. All right. All right, here we go. Set. Go. All right, good job there. Looking for the crosser. Punt safe to this. All right, hey, hey. What's up, Gopher Nation? We just finished a walkthrough. It's Michael Meffler. Uh, your junior defensive end, and uh, we just worked on some finishing up, cleaning up some plays, and uh, we're gonna go out there and beat Michigan State. Let's go. We just left the airport hangar. We're about to get on this Sun Country plane right here. We got lunch. We got easy access to it, not the conventional way, but let's go take our seats. So make sure you come with power, keep your feet moving, don't slow down. Okay? Make sure you're ready that if he does try to cut you, <clears throat> in a position where you can take care of that. On the opposite side here, that's where we gotta make sure we're working up the field. Any type of blitz on the inside or, or coming, uh, you know, in this situation, Ringo. Okay? Make sure we're up the field so he can't scramble out of there okay, to get that ball thrown. See what he does with his left arm? Reaches up there and grabs him, doesn't he? Okay? Yeah, no, no flags on the field, <coughs> not gonna call it. So as you're coming around, you gotta understand that that's what's gonna show. Be ready to chop it or be ready to rip it so that you can get through there. Don't come to the sideline and be like, mm, I, I should've did this, or I could've did this. Okay, that's easy. If people did that, everybody would play the game of football. And obviously everybody does, all right? I need to see Hank, I need to see Alex. Okay, let's get a break. Let's get out. D line on three. One, two, three. D line. Auto bomb. I don't want to sleep down, bro. Sleep down. Well, that's how they sleep before bro. meetings, bro. Take a nap. Take a nap. Take a nap. Take a nap. BBs, take a nap. Hey, 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 serious face.
All right, Gophers, we finished all our practice, uh, all our studying. We're ready to go play. About to get on this bus to handle business. Let's do it. Where has the season gone? The 2013 Golden Gopher regular season closes out today. Minnesota's on the road at Legends Division champion Michigan State for the regular season finale here this morning. We got a great day to play college football. Get to hook it up to two tough physical Big Ten teams. And that's what football is all about. Let's get it, baby! Quick snap and the handoff again to Langford. Hit and Hagman got him and pushed him back. He will not get it. Rashid Hagman belly to belly with Langford. Under center Nelson. Play action to pass is Phillip. Firing on the near side. Caught by Frick to get a first down. Gophers punt team is on. Martell from the own 45 and it's a fake. The snap comes short and it's Williams and a first down. They pull off the fake inside the 35. Behind the block of Zach Epping and Tommy Olsen right. And there's an injured Spartan, but they get to the 33-yard line. Spinning is Nelson, handoff to Cobb. Trying to get outside, does get outside. Inside the 15, turns it up with a 10. First and goal from the eight. We feel like if we come out and play our game, we can run the ball against anybody. And I think early on we had some success running the ball and all throughout the game. It's just a good defense like them. They bend, but they don't break. They, they let us into the red zone and we couldn't capitalize. And you know, to beat a team like Michigan State, you have to score points. And Chris Hawthorne drills it right down the middle. Hawthorne has made six straight and now eight of his last nine. Here is Cook to roll out. Trying to find man, throws back across the, into, across the middle and it's picked off by Derek Wells at the 25 and he was one tackle away from taking it the distance. We're on the road, playing great defense. 7-3 offensively, moving football. Gets a great defensive football team. In motion, comes a receiver, Shelton. Back to pass, Cook. Looks over the middle, tight end there. Touchdown, Josiah Price. His third touchdown of the season. Three receivers that way, all out blitz coming. Nelson over the middle, pass down to Jones, first down, midfield and then some, down to the 40, inside the 35, and he's gang tackle there. Here's another handoff to Cobb, trying to get to the outside. This time, trust his speed, turns it at the 20, turns it at the 15, back toward the center of the field, and the gain of nine. You know, Michigan State was, you know, a, a very good team. You know, they were ranked, and they definitely, uh, you know, are very physical up front. Just the fact that the defense, you know, kind of stuck in there the whole game, I felt we definitely had signs of improvement, you know, just off all cylinders of the ball. And I feel like we were definitely relentless just to, you know, kind of prove ourselves to a ranked team that our defense is just as good as theirs or anybody's. Now on the field to pass, Cook pressure comes, hit, there's the fumble, and the Gophers have it. Cochran forced the fumble, and Minnesota's Rasheed Hagman scoops up the loose ball. Hand off to Allen again, stutter steps, hit at the line of scrimmage and is tackled and that will be it. And they will not need to take another snap. You're a hell of a story in college football. I guarantee we came in there and, and we, we physically, the last two games, we haven't done that here in a long time. Against two physical football teams. So I'm telling you, we got a lot of room to get better. We'll keep getting better. I learned that uh, I think we finally, as a team, started to realize that we're just as good as those other teams in the nation and we could be a top team in the Big Ten if we just keep continuing to work, listen to our coaches and buy in to what they're telling us. Great four. Hey man, we're just picked bottom of the Big Ten. Seniors, I appreciate what you've done and where you've taken us. But the great thing about it is we got one more shot, we need to win a bowl game, and we need to get nine wins. The first two years was real tough, but we still had to lay a foundation down, and that's what the coaches were doing. And for us to be, you know, where we are now, I feel like we're just, you know, uh, building our brick for our, you know, our foundation and kind of turning this program around. I'm definitely glad to be a part of it.